You will never see some of these people again tonight. Well, maybe an answer. Progress, all right, everybody hang in there. So many beautiful people. We got some of our uh, crew members up here, some of our officers. Okay, don't What a beautiful evening, y'all.
dancers. And I say welcome, that means you applaud. Hold 
on, before you blow the whistle, Bandmaster, I know you, we've got a big planned exit here. But these guys have been, uh, and girls have been uh, practicing for this, have been looking forward to this, and they're going to go down the red carpet. They are uh, the, the band that supports the Trojans, basket, hockey, what, what is it you do? You support every Trojan team. Oh, every Trojan team. So whatever team you support for the next 10 seconds as they leave, you love the Trojans because we want to say a huge thank you to these brilliant musicians. Ladies and gentlemen, the marching band of the University of Southern California. Blimp is flying above us. We have got a fabulous day for you. We've got lots of surprises this evening. And of course, we've got our celebrity chefs. Let's give them another big welcome over here. Yes. Sorry? Who do you love? You love Guy Fieri? Wow. There's a man over there who loves you. Thank you, sir, for publicly acknowledging that in front of 2,000. Come over here a second. Because he's here, if you want to tell him personally. Oh, well, it's very kind of you to come here. I oh, said something else. Oh, 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 oh. Is that, is that made your day? Now, be honest, do you love him or do you love his burgers? I love his burgers, but I came here and it's closed. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Chris. And what do you do, Chris? I'm a travel agent here in Long Beach, California. A travel agent. Hello to all the travel agents. We love you. Chris, you may love Guy, but you're holding my hand. Oh, I just thought, hold on, didn't they bring me... This is on the script, I know. Yes, I was supposed to have a burger, but I didn't have time. Look. Chris, Guy made this himself. Turn around, look, face the audience. Guy made this himself. He did. <laughs> so you can have that, and thank you so much. Yeah, I know it's cold, don't complain, don't no worry. <laughs> just, just go and eat it. That was my lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of very special things to do. We have a lot of tradition as well. And one of the traditions is that in a few moments, this very beautiful and talented lady is going to sing a song which will need no introduction. But I do want to tell you a little bit about her because she is part of the Carnival family. She is part of our playlist production cast and will be performing on some of our ships. And as soon as she steps out, you'll think, wow, not only is she a great singer and part of the Carnival family, but she's part, as you're about to see, of an even bigger family and somebody who served her country. Would you please be upstanding for your national anthem, ladies and gentlemen, sung by J.R. Phelps.
Take a seat, everybody. Thank you. That was sung right from the heart. So, two very important parts of your family life, of course, have been your carnival family on stage, where you've been singing all sorts of songs, and now, of course, you're wearing this uniform. How are you feeling right now, this very moment? So excited. There's a lot of energy here, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, um, Christine is going to tell you something about um, a, a very special thing that we've uh, gone into partnership with and uh, I, I want you to listen very carefully a little bit later to the words because it's very poignant and definitely ties into that uniform that you so proudly wear. Please show your appreciation one more time for J.R. Fox, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, moving directly on from that, there is a second part of uh, a ship tradition for a naming ceremony. And that is, of course, to give a very special blessing upon the vessel and those who are sailing upon her. And I would like you to give a very warm welcome. Maybe we don't normally applaud people who do this kind of thing, but they absolutely should be, because their words are going to be very special for all of us here and for all of us perusing. This is uh, the Reverend Eric and Rabbi Moisha Engel. Let's give them a warm welcome for the blessing, please. Good evening, everyone. Doesn't Carnival know how to do things right? Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is wonderful. I'm so happy to be here. I am honored to be here, to have been asked to give the blessing today for this magnificent ship. Uh, for the past 17 years, I have had the pleasure of working with Carnival as the official wedding minister here in Long Beach. Yes, we do do weddings here, and I have to ask all of you. You've all seen the commercial with Shaq where he uh, does the, uh, when I see that commercial, I tell people, that's me. <laughs> I'm honored to be able to do this and I have him be me for once. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, with that in mind, uh, I'd like to just give the blessing here. Dear Heavenly Lord, creator of all that is good and righteous in this world, we are gathered here today to ask your blessing on the magnificent Carnival Panorama and to ask you for blessing all who work together to build this ship, from the very early planning stages all the way to putting the finishing touches on this beautiful vessel. We pray that this ship will perform with excellence throughout its reign on the seas. And Lord, we ask your blessing for safe passage for all who sail on here. We pray for the captain. May he lead with honor and integrity. We pray for all the crew and staff on board, both on board and in support roles for side, that they may be filled with a sense of pride in what they do for their guests, as well as their fellow crew members. And we ask that you please care for the loved ones while they're away at home. We pray for each and every guest who ever boards this ship, both now and in the future, that their experience on board and at each port it sails to be one of the most joyous pleasurable and unforgettable events they will ever experience. And that through these experiences, each and every one will enjoy greater love and unity in their own lives. We thank you for all these blessings. And we ask all of this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And Rabbi Moshe. I'd like to thank Carnival Corporation and Christine Duffy for giving me the opportunity to offer a ceremonial blessing for the panorama. When Carnival Cruise Line asked me to deliver the invocation for launching this cruise ship, I asked myself, why do people travel on cruise ships? <laughs> Perhaps it's the cuisine. They told me that on this ship alone there are many great restaurants. <coughs> You might say the entertainment. This ship offers great shows that rival Las Vegas. The music, the gift shops, the spa, the destinations, the fun. There's so many reasons to take a cruise. 
But then I thought more about it, and another reason came to me. Water inspires deep thinking. The depths of the oceans calm us, stir us, and move us to probe the depths, depths of our own minds and souls. People flock to cruises for the tranquility. The peace of mind available in the middle of the ocean is a peace of mind that cannot be obtained anywhere else. And there isn't a person alive who doesn't crave authentic peace of mind. Deep waters make us think deeply, feel deeply, and most importantly, see depth wherever we look. May your guests disembark with eyes that see deeper than when they embark. May they look at their family and friends and see the beauty in each one, even if it is hidden deep below the surface. May they look at their offices and suddenly see a higher purpose, purpose deep below the piles of paper and mountains of deadlines. May they look at the world and see a divine garden, even if they need to look deeply past the wild jungle the world often pretends to be. And may they look deep into themselves and see a child of God, loved, needed, indispensable, and infinitely crucial to his vast eternal plan. Let's think about it. <laughs> There's a striking resemblance between cruises and real life. People who could enjoy every one of the ship's amenities on terra firma insist on enjoying them on a cruise ship for a week in the middle of the ocean because they know that that is where they will find their inner peace. And now for my final thought and prayer for the good ship, Carnival Panorama. Heaven is terra firma. A moment of bliss in heaven makes obsolete all the pleasure of, pleasure of the world, and yet God insists that we come down here to a giant vessel called Earth and spend our time here instead of in heaven. God feels that it is worth all the inherent dangers of life on Earth because this is where we can truly find our inner peace and our higher purpose. May the Panorama and her officers and crew live a long and happy life and quietly and unobtrusively fulfill its purpose to not only carry people over waves and breakers, but to uplift people, to broaden their horizons, to deepen their perception, to bring us closer together and closer to the creator of the land and the sea and everything in them, and closer to the time of the prophet's vision, the knowledge of God will fill the earth like the waters fill the sea. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and our blessings for the Reverend and Rabbi. Thank you so much. Beautiful words. Thank you for sharing them with us. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to introduce you to probably the most excited lady on the ship. You may have seen her already if you've been on for a few hours. It's hard to see her because wherever she is, she's enveloped immediately by the crew. And that's because they adore her. Carnival's mantra is, of course, fun. And you need somebody at the top who absolutely shows that they too believe in fun. And nobody believes it more than the lady. It's an honor for me to introduce you to. As I mentioned to you earlier, she's the one that invited all of you here. That alone should give her a huge round of applause. And I mentioned earlier, she's paying for the drinks and the food. And if you give her a real big round of applause, she mentioned she may even open the casino for free as well. No, she won't do that, no. No, she won't do that. But what she will do is proudly tell you why we are so proud of this ship. Without further ado, please put your hands together and give a big cheer as well for our president, Christine Duffy. Small correction about your lunch that you said you didn't eat. Oh, 
I did see you Shh, eating it, it, a burger earlier. So I just, I just wanted to. That was decent. Okay, you have to count everything. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It is amazing to see so many people here in beautiful Southern California. Welcome to our naming ceremony for the beautiful new Carnival Panorama. This is the 27th ship in our fleet and the third, third and final ship in what has been an extremely popular Vista class. We are making history today as Carnival Panorama is the first new ship which will home port year round on the West Coast in nearly 25 years. As you can imagine, we've had an exciting year getting ready for today. We literally took the West Coast by land, by air, and by sea. We kicked off the new year with our first ever float in the Tournament of Roses Parade, which featured Sky Zone, our first trampoline park at sea. Our float was joined by our, by our Carnival airship that spent several weeks here on the West Coast to promote the arrival of Panorama. And now with the arrival one year later, we are excited that the airship is joining us again today and she'll be on another tour of Southern California. Most of all, we are very happy to home port this beautiful new ship here in Long Beach, joining its sisters, Carnival Inspiration and Carnival Imagination, sailing year round. Carnival Panorama brings not only a new class of ship here to the West Coast, but also many new features. We've got the first ever Sky Zone Trampoline Park at sea, and we know that guests of all ages are going to love this high-flying new experience. The debut of Carnival Kitchen, an interactive studio where our guests will be able to enjoy a hands-on culinary experience led by our very talented master chefs. We're offering an array of cooking classes, workshops, and demonstrations inspired by a variety of international cuisines. But most meaningful to me is the introduction of the Heroes Tribute Bar, a special carnival salute to the women and men of the military. America's cruise line and we carry more military members than any cruise line. Every sailing on Carnival includes a special military tribute that brings together active and veteran military members and their families. Our new feature extends this recognition with a dedicated space where all of our guests can gather and celebrate those who serve or those who have served our country. A portion of the proceeds from this venue will go to support our longtime partner, Operation Homefront, an organization dedicated to assisting military families. And I am so pleased that my good friend John Craig, President and CEO of Operation Homefront, a former leader of the USO and retired Brigadier General of the United States Air Force, is with us today. John, please stand up and take the lead. recognize someone else that's very special to me and to the Carnival Corporation family and that is retired Vice Admiral Bill Burke who is Carnival Corporation's Chief Maritime Officer who served in the United States Navy. Bill, where are you? Now, of course, Panorama has the features of her sister Vista class ships that our guests love. More than 20 dining experiences, lots of great shopping, even some new retail I've seen, sky ride and a great water park, a relaxing spa, special Havana themed staterooms, as well as our family harbor area designed just for families. 
But most of all, Carnival Panorama has what every Carnival ship has, an amazing crew that I do love dearly. And on this ship, 1,487 crew members. Our crew, representing 70 nationalities, are dedicated to making sure that each one of our guests has a fabulous, fun, and memorable vacation. So welcome aboard. I realize you probably have not yet had a lot of time to explore, but I hope you will take some time to walk around this evening so you can experience and enjoy everything that we have on this beautiful ship. Now, before I continue, I would like to acknowledge some other very special people who are with us today. Of course, Carnival Corporation's chairman, Mickey Arison and his wife, Madeline. Carnival Donald, President and CEO of Carnival Corporation. And my good friend, Dan Schwartz, President of our sister brand, Princess Cruises. We also just delivered a brand new ship last weekend in beautiful Sky Princess in Fort Lauderdale. Jan, I think we've got our geography cross because I'm in LA where Princess is based and we're in South Florida where Carnival is, but just goes to show we're everywhere. Now, a big shout out, of course, to all of the shore, sea, shore side team members who I work with every day side by side along with our shipboard team. And of course, I have to acknowledge someone very special to Carnival who could not be here with us today, and that is our CFO, Chief Fun Officer, Shaq O'Neill. Shaq! Chief Fun Officer Shaquille O'Neill, I'm sorry I couldn't join you guys today, but I hope you all get the Carnival Panorama the Shaq size welcome she deserves. Congratulations, Panorama! partnering with Pepsi to provide an even greater assortment of beverages to our guests. And I am pleased to say, Panorama is the first ship to be serving Pepsi. Welcome to Ann Fink, the president of Pepsi Global Food Service and the Pepsi team with us tonight. Thank you for joining us. And of course, a very special thank you to the senior officers of Carnival Panorama. Captain Carlo Puello, Chief Engineer Nunzio Priolo, and Hotel Director Demir Mercy, along with all of the officers, staff, and crew who have brought this ship to life and will deliver memorable vacation experiences for each of our guests each and every day. So proud of you. They have just completed a 39-day voyage, bringing this ship directly from the shipyard outside of Venice, Italy, to her new home here in Long Beach. Let's give them a big round of applause. I'd also like to acknowledge our shipbuilding partners for many years from Fink and Terry, who helped, who built this magnificent ship, Fink and Terry. And from Long Beach. We are pleased to welcome, I don't know if he made it, the mayor of Long Beach, Robert Garcia, along with many of the other Long Beach and port officials who are here with us. Thank you so much for your support and partnership. And of course, I have to add my own welcome of, to our Food Network star and longtime Carnival partner, Guy Fietti. Our guy went on a carnival ship that didn't have a guy burger joint. We heard about it. So we solved that problem. They're on every ship. And we are very excited to have opened today the second guy's pig and anchor smokehouse food town serving the real deal. Guy's real deer barbecue, which everybody loves. And speaking of chefs, you've heard us introduce our two new great chefs that we're welcoming to the Carnival Cruise Line family, 
who will have restaurants on our Mardi Gras ship coming in 2020. Of course, Rudy Sodeman, chief and chef and cookbook author with his food faces, playful dishes that we will launch on Rudy's Sea Grill. And of course, world-renowned chef Emerald Lagasse, who will open his first Mardi Gras. Now we thought it was fitting for our Feast of Fun to bring all of these wonderful and talented chefs together, Guy, Rudy, and Emerald, but of course they join us along with the dedicated team of our onboard and our shipboard corporate chefs who deliver 127 million meals to our guests every year. <laughs> All of these wonderful culinary talents joined us earlier as we cut the ribbon to officially open our first ever Carnival Kitchen. Let's take a look. What better way to kick off today's Feast of Fun and Carnival Panorama's inaugural celebration that with the ribbon cutting of our brand new culinary space. We already employ recycling, waste reduction, and energy usage practices that are world class. But we are committed to doing even more. We've made changes in our onboard product and service delivery that eliminates most of our single-use plastics and other non-recyclable waste streams. We are also dedicated to reducing food waste on our ships. Carnival Corporation is committed to being a leader in sustainability. And I know we are on the right path and are committed to setting the pace. In addition, we are very proud to support the communities in which we operate our ships. The Long Beach Department of Health and Human Services is working to improve the availability of affordable and healthy foods for residents through its Healthy Active Long Beach program. This program provides free technical assistance and resources to markets, many of which are locally and or minority owned, with the goal of transforming their small and medium food stores into healthy markets. We are very proud to be able to assist in this mission, supporting our neighbors in the Long Beach community. So today, we are making a $100,000 donation to the Healthy Active Long Beach Program. Here to accept the donation is Laura Tongrill from the Long Beach Department of Health and Human Services. Laura, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's such a big check! <laughs> That's great. the godmother bestows good luck and safe travels over the vessel and all who sail on it. The U.S. Navy and Coast Guard, the godmother is considered a permanent member of the ship's crew and is expected to give a part of her personality to the ship. At Carnival, 
We look to our godmothers to personify the carnival values and support the mission of our founder, Ted Addison, who believed that every American should be able to afford a great vacation. So we are so pleased to have Vanna White, America's most popular television hostess, joining us as Carnival Panorama's godmother. She has America, she is in America's living room every night on everybody's favorite game show, Wheel of Fortune. And this week, after 37 years, she took her first turn leading the show for episodes that started airing last night. You've been a welcoming face, cheering on and watching over contestants for decades, and now you'll be doing the same for Carnival Panorama, our guests, our crew, as our ship's godmother. We have a long-standing relationship with Wheel of Fortune. Their slot machines are very popular attractions in our casinos, which will not be open for free, but across the carnival fleet. Pat Sajak and Vanna have been on board with us to take some segments that we've done with Wheel of Fortune, and we revealed the name of our next ship, Mardi Gras, on Wheel of Fortune. So over the course of 37 years, Vanna has appeared in more than 7,000 episodes, cheering on contestants and dazzling everyone in a new outfit every night. Now, Vanna, is also, she's from South Carolina, where we, I have to mention, have carnival sunshine sailing year round from the beautiful port city of Charleston. And success has provided a foundation also to help others in need. Combining her passion for crocheting and helping children, Vanna launched her own line of yarn called Vanna's Choice, and a portion of the proceeds benefit St. Jude, which is also Carnival's national charity. So, and a perfect match. I, I've admired Vanna for a long time. I had the chance to meet her today, and she is exactly what she appears to be, down to earth and so authentic and kind. So, you personify Carnival for us as America's Cruise Line. So, before we invite you to come up to the stage, I do want to ask the captain of our beautiful ship, Captain Carlo, who has been with Carnival for 34 years. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, everybody. This is really the proudest moment in my 40 years at sea in uh, 35 years uh, uh, with Carnival. I was, uh, I was five years old when I started Carnival. <laughs> and, uh, but after 35 years with Carnival, I'm, uh, it's very important. It is, it's, uh, it's a really, it's a pleasure. I'm very, very proud to be a captain with the Carnival Cruise Line and to be a captain of the Carnival Panorama which is uh, not only a beautiful ship, but is, uh, is really a ship with a very high technology and uh, especially almost with the no impact with the environmental. It has, uh, is a very, very high technology. And uh, after that, I really like to thank uh, uh, all the team members and the, the crew that they were working with me in Italy and they did the crossing. And now we are uh, really ready for uh, our passenger, we, we start tomorrow with the with the cruise. And uh, yeah. I have to say, I have to say that most probably California bring a good luck for me because I was the captain that I brought the election in the 1998, which was a success. Which everybody remember, and now I brought another new ship in California. In the the last thing I want to say, is that we are ready for passenger, and I can say, like any other Carnival Cruise Line ship, in the Carnival Panorama will be a very, very successful ship, because we have a secret. The ship of Carnival, they are not only beautiful, but we are working together. They working together with the office, we are working together with our team member that we have here, yeah. 
and that is the secret of carrier cruise line. And our passenger, and our goal is to have the passenger when he go back home to have only one feeling: to book another cruise. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Captain. And we're just about to move into uh, the very special moment of the ceremony, although it was whispered in my ear by uh, somebody quite senior that I didn't treat, the, was it Chris, that I didn't treat you very well and I should give you a prize because giving you a cold burger was cruel and the bosses were a little upset. So could you just come up here quickly because Christine mentioned and I'm a bit high. Shaquille O'Neal, do you like us? You love a Shaquille. Turn around. I've got a surprise for you. How about this? Would you like, Chris, would you like a signed basketball? You would? Hold that. Thank you. Go away. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we need to name the ship. And for that, I need you to find all the energy in the world you can. Because here is the godmother of not just the ship, but 1,400 crew members. And you can say you were here when this lady christened and named our newest ship, our flagship. Please, would you give your warmest welcome to the beautiful, incomparable Vanna White. <laughs> ship. I'm truly honored to be here as its godmother. I mean, look around. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. My mouth has been wide open all day. Earlier, I had the opportunity to tour the Beth vessel and meet Captain Kirillo, as well as his team of officers and crew. Here's some nice. And I have to say, from the new culinary studio to the first trampoline park at sea, Carnival Panorama, is truly amazing. As you know, I'm no stranger to Carnival Cruise Line, whether it's taking a personal cruise, or taking segments for Wheel of Fortune with Pat Sajak. Um, I've been aboard a number of Carnival ships, but Carnival Panorama is now my favorite. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm very selective when it comes to associating myself with a particular company or brand. But I feel Carnival Cruise Line is a great fit for a couple of reasons. First, I love to cruise. I think it's the, the perfect vacation for family fun. Yeah. But more importantly, like Carnival, I'm a longtime supporter of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. <laughs> Carnival even made a, gen general, a generous donation this afternoon. Thank you so much for that. It, it made me cry. So touching. And that support of an organization is so close to my heart. It made it an easy decision for me to make, excepting uh, when I was asked to become godmother of this vessel. My role at Wheel of Fortune has always allowed me to do some incredible things, but I have to say that this, naming a brand new ship, is a once in a lifetime moment that I will never forget. Thank you again, Carnival Cruise Line, for the opportunity to serve as godmother and officially name this magnificent addition to your fleet. I'm incredibly flattered to be eternally connected to this beautiful vessel. I just know it will provide endless fun for thousands of families for years and years to come. Are all of you ready? The ship. I know I am. I'm so excited. And we're excited too. And we were trying to think, what can we do to have you name this ship? And I'll show you in a moment, but maybe we can have a quick look at the... There you'll see the bottle, which is going to break on the bow. 
and I'm going to show you how that's going to happen in just a second. We need some help for that. So ladies and gentlemen, coming down the center aisle now are the people who as soon as they leave here will be cooking your dinner tonight. These are our chefs, the people that work in the gallery. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you for joining over here. You can tell your parents you had a fanfare. How about that? So, this is what's going to happen. Now, here we have the chefs holding our Feast of Fun plates. Behind the plate is going to be a letter. Now, Vanna, you probably haven't done this before, so rather than, uh, you don't mind if I teach you, do you? I, I don't know, but rather than just turn it, maybe you could just do a little smart, because it's, you know, it's all in the room. Yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to have Vanna do what we've all seen her do a thousand million times and we sit in our living rooms. So see if you can guess what the word is. It's going to be tough. Here we go. Turn the letter. Turn the letter. Here we go. P. A. N. Any guesses? The magic button will come to that. It's Panorama! So, joined by Christine and the captain, please, we'll have Vanna read the words and watch the big screen as to what happens when she presses the button. Vanna, please, would you give the blessing? Stay here a second. I'm just going to do some housekeeping before the photos. We'd like everybody please to walk forward. Go down to you'll hear an announcement for yourself to go for dinner. Go find the fun. It's Carmel Fun. It's out there. And thank you wow. so much for coming to the naming ceremony of your Carnival Panorama. All right, that was unbelievable. Um, wow, yeah, that was lengthy. But we told you guys we would show you the naming ceremony, and there you go. You saw it. We saw all the comments come in. I'm sorry we couldn't read them and respond. I know there's a lot of questions. We'll try to answer them later. We'll try to answer later. Yes. But that was awesome, guys. We hope you enjoyed that. Here we are live from the Carnival Panorama. That was the official naming ceremony. You saw the whole thing right here, Chad. I hope the quality was okay. I hope the sound was okay. And we had a blast bringing it to you. So thanks very much for joining us for that. And we're going to see if we can see you a little bit later. Yeah. Stay tuned because we'll probably be going live again later with more fun. So we're going to go have some fun right now. Yes, we're going to go find a cocktail and uh, a dance floor. And I don't even know what we're going to find. But let's go get crazy, OK? Yeah, peace out. Peace out. We'll see you soon. Yeah.